Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. For today's lunch, I'm going to be making a lentil stew with chicken and chorizo. Ignore the green peppers, they're just there for show. Well then, let's start today's lunch. Turn the stove on. We're going to turn it up to number seven, three quarters of the way as usual. I'll add some olive oil, about three tablespoons, and I will wait for that to heat up. And while we wait, yesterday, mother-in-law went to market and she gifted me these green peppers, long peppers, I think they call them Italian ones. And I'm very happy because they were the last that I needed for seeds as I plan to germinate some seeds and grow them for this summer as they are very easy to grow here in Spain so much sun okay so let's wait a little bit by the way I'll let you know how much I'm using. I'm using about three garlic cloves, half a small onion, all finely chopped, and about a quarter of a red bell pepper, all finely chopped. Got my two chorizos here, cut into big, well, bite-sized pieces, roughly. Chicken quarter, which I've halved. I've also got my large potato. I've got it in water so that it doesn't go brown while I wait. One large potato cubed up and I've got the... They look a bit like they were overcooked. They're from a jar, but well, no problem as they're cooked. Um, okay, so this looks like it's sort of hot. Doesn't matter really if it's not too hot. So I'm gonna add that in, the vegetables in. Put that there for my spoon. And I'm going to add the chorizo in also. And I'll gently, I'm gonna cover it up and just gently soften it all up. I'm not going to brown it off. Just make it all nice and soft and the chorizo to, so um, so that it sheds its delicious um, juice. So I'll be back in a minute. Oh, I forgot. I'm also going to chuck the chicken in at the same time. You've probably seen me make a, a lentil stew in my other videos, um, but they're all different, you know, they have different and ingredients changes every now and then. So I'll leave a link below in the description for you to check out if you like. So that'll be moving it about every now and then. All right, so it's been here for 10 minutes. I've turned it around a couple of times. And this is ready for the next step. Look at the juice from the chorizo. Beautiful color. I don't want it to be browned. So what I'll do next is um, I'm going to add a teaspoon of sweet paprika. Nearly finishing this. I think I've got another one up there. So that is that. I'm going to add some fried tomato. About three tablespoons. I'm just going to add some water to that. 
from the half a litre jug that I will be using which should be enough and I'll mix that about a bit mix everything in as best as I can and I'm going to cover it and just leave it for five minutes there alright so five minutes are up and this is bubbling away nicely oh yes so the next step will be to add this to vegetable stock cube which I'm going to crumble in I could have done it at the same time as when I added the paprika but never mind and then I'm going to add the potatoes and the, the rest of the half a litre water which should just about cover everything well calculated you can add a bay leaf or two now as well so I'm going to turn the heat right up now so that I can bring that to the boil quick oh and by the way this dish, this dish goes really well with these um, chilies or whatever you call them delicious okay so this has come to a boil pretty quick so before I forget I'm gonna do a salt check because them stock cubes they're new ones I've never used that brand before so I'll see wow no salt needed brilliant okay so next is I'm gonna cover it up turn the heat down to number seven so three quarters of the way two thirds of the way and I'm gonna leave it there for I reckon 15 minutes I'll let you know okay so exactly 15 minutes have gone by and what I'm gonna do is a prick test on the spuds and they are al dente so what I'm going to do next is add the um, lentils and I'll um, move them about a bit obviously it stopped the boiling process so I'm going to cover it back up again but it's starting to boil already and we'll leave it there for five minutes well five minutes have flown by I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to turn the stove off as well because this is done beautiful obviously if you wanted it thicker the sauce to be thicker you could add less water like say 300 ml for example the thing is with this type of dinner if you have it left over for the next day which there should be a bit left over for the next day or for an evening meal it will be quite thick anyway so it's up to you let's have a look at this yeah nice consistency just what I like because anyway once I let it cool down before serving it it will have gone a bit thicker anyway okay enough waffling and I'm gonna let that 
cool down a bit and then I'm going to serve it on this plate for the thumbnail of course. Okay then, so here's today's recipe sorted. What do you think? Stop looking at that. It's today's recipe is this one. By the way, um, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, especially the ones that leave comments. I enjoy um, replying to your comments. Um, please like this video and share it if you like with your friends. Um, nothing else for today. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to sharing my next recipe video with you. Cheers and bye-bye.